from Hollywood, the television capital of the world, it's time to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Couch Potatoes! Hi, I'm Mike Wallace. No, I'm Morley Safer. No, I'm Joe Alasky. And here he is, my next door neighbor and favorite host, Mark Summers. Hello, how are you, gang? Nice to see you. What a great audience. Yes, hi, family affair. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thanks for joining us here on Couch Potatoes. This is where we focus on the best of television, both past and present. You never know what show might pop up back there on our set. But before we find out, let's meet our two teams of couch potatoes. Starting to my left, they call themselves Family Affair. We have Reed. We have Cindy. Yeah. And we have Chase. Hello. And Cindy, could you do that for me one more time? Yeah. Oh, that was good. You've been practicing that at home? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and can you say anything else but yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll let them work on that. We'll meet our champions. Our fifth day to see them, the Roomies. And, uh, boy, last time I get to say this, I guess, Roberta, Yvonne, and Chris Aaron, winners of $14,250 here. Nice job. Roberta, what are you going to do with the money? Do you have any idea? Spend it. <laughs> Good idea. You too, Yvonne? Spending, spending, spending. And Chris? Sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got a plan. Let's play couch potatoes. And here's the first tune-in question for 25 rating points and control for the spin-off questions that follow. Aunt B, Aunt Blabby, or Anchovy? Which of these is a feisty old maid played by Johnny Carson? A yes, Reed. Aunt Blabby. That is right. Aunt Blabby is what we were after. We have 25 rating points for Family Affair, and the subject is what a drag. And uh, <laughs> oh. handsome looking potato and drag there. Isn't that nice? Okay, for 25 rating points, on what comedy did Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari play flirts in skirts? Yes, Cindy. Bosom Buddies. That is the answer, yes. 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 Great yes. series. Yes. These guys are having good careers after that as well. Okay, Chase and Reed, this is for you. Dana Carvey puts on a dress, and isn't that special? <laughs> Name a Saturday Night Live character in a dress. Yes, Reed. The church lady. That yes, is right. Absolutely right. Okay, Chase, this is for you. In the 50s, one of the ugliest things you'd ever want to see in a dress was a guy named Mr. Television. Who is he? Yes. Milton Berle. That is right. Yes. There he is, Uncle Milty. <laughs> 100 rating points now for Family Affair. We don't see anything on the board yet for the roomies, but we are going into round two. This is the tune-in question for everybody. Magnum, Beretta, or Derringer? Which of these explosive PIs had a buddy nicknamed TC? A yes, that would be Yvonne. Magnum PI. Yes, Magnum, you are right. And we have 25 rating points for the roomies, and we are going to be talking about this classic series, great show, called Magnum PI. Yeah, I know who you think it is. <laughs> it's a game show, folks. It's low budget. He couldn't possibly... Well, maybe he could. Come on in. Who's here? Yes! It's Roger E. Morley! Nice to see you, sir. Yeah. Handsome gentleman here. There we go. T.C. from Magnum. Yeah. Well, T.C., how are you doing? Fine, 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 fine. Mark, yes, sir. Mark, Mark. Yes, sir. Am I here to ask questions about Thomas Magnum? Well, that's the idea. Why? That turkey. Thomas told me I was coming here to ask questions about me. I paid my own way, too. Well, now, now, Roger, Magnum has always taken advantage, especially when it comes to money, isn't he? <laughs> Thomas is so tight that when he takes a dollar out of his pocket, he has to wipe the cobwebs off of it before he can spend it. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I mean, he seems to run a decent business, doesn't he? Run it? Uh -huh. pract it practically crawls. <laughs> <laughs> I will ask questions about the show. About the show. We'd appreciate it. These ladies have control. Could you uh, take it from here, please? Okay. So let me ask some questions. Uh, yes, right? sir. <laughs> okay. uh, in exchange for living at Robin's estate, Magnum has to put up with Robin's man service, a man who is so stuffy that Stovetop wants to name a dish after him. <laughs> uh, who is he? Yes, Yvonne. Higgins. Yes, that is right. Higgins <laughs> is right. All right. 25 rating points. Oh, high five for the team there. Oh, high five. All right. Man has energy. Okay. I love that. All right, we have a question for Roberta and Chris Aaron then. Okay. All right, Hickey Baby runs the estate with the help of uh, <laughs> Zeus and Apollo. Holy. 
that man. <laughs> now, who is this dynamic duo? Yes, Chris Aaron. Dobermans, the dogs. The dogs, you are right. Boy, they know the show, don't they? Another 25 rating points added Come over on. here for the Rubies. Roberta, you can make it a clean sweep. Okay, okay. Magnum drives a terrific car. The only thing dangerous about it is a nut that's behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> now, what kind of car does TM drive? Yes, Roberta. It's Ooh, a red it Ferrari. No, they got, they got it. it. Oh, there you go. Three, 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 three. All right. All right. Brings the movies up to 100 rating points, and we have 100 here for Family Fair. I love your energy. Are you always this enthusiastic? Hey. Fun is my life. That's great. Name of the game. That's it. And you own a nightclub in Hawaii, don't you? Funny you should mention this. I brought you something. <laughs> What'd you bring me? Hey. <laughs> Man's going out the door and That's uh, right. what are you bringing? And here we are. It's called Rini's. You got to wear this cap on the golf course. Okay. Mark. I do play you golf. You got fiction. to put it on. It's in Pearl City, Hawaii. It right. says I'm a class act. You're a class act. Oh, good. I'll put this on. Here. That's very nice of you. How's it look? Oh yeah. Oh, man, looks great. Look at my face. That's very nice of you. And uh, besides being an actor, I understand you're getting into producing and directing. Yeah, it? on Magnum, I pro uh, directed and wrote some of the shows that we did there. <laughs> and with that kind of background, both the hype and being a writer and director, I'm ready to go into producing. And I, I got a lot of stories that I'm pretty sure that people want to hear. You're starting to see some of uh, movies like Tap and Lean on Me and stuff. Uh -huh. So we want to continue that vein of good entertaining movies that have a perspective that we want to present. Well, I know you're going to bring a great energy to whatever project you do. Thank you, Benny. Roger E. Mosley, stay with us. We're going to come back and drop three right after this. Stay with us. Roger Mosley, a class act indeed. And he's no stranger to acting. He won rave reviews for the 1976 film Lead Belly, where he played Huddy Ledbetter, a famous blues singer. And uh, he also founded the Watts Repertory Company in the late 70s. Quite a talent. Let's hear it for Roger Mosley. We'll be right back with more Cost Potatoes in just a second. in the monitor and uh, I kind of look like Bob Hope on one of those uh, you know big ships when he goes and does one of those uh, Vietnam shows don't you ah it's wild out here huh look at that huh that's my Bob Hope impression thank you so much it's wild out here we're ready to which I want to tell you that's it I want to tell you we're ready to play around number three I want to tell you where we double the stakes to 50 rating points for each correct answer we actually have a tie game right now but we're gonna break that tie with this next tune in question <laughs> sugar foot sugar time or honey west which of these was a TV Western starring Will Hutchins? Yes, Chase. Sugarfoot. Sugarfoot, that is right. You've taken the lead. This would be a joke when I was a kid. I don't care if your name is Sugarfoot. Get your toe out of my coffee. Well, aren't you glad I remember that? We have a, uh, a spinoff round. The subject is sweet potatoes right over there. And uh, for 50 rating points, guys, this certain snack is the one and only food group of a certain monster on Sesame Street. In your best monster voice, name the snack. Yes, Chase. Cookies. Cookies, you're right. right. <laughs> Give me cookies. Give them fifty dollars. Well, I had uh, another fifty points actually, and uh, you know, <laughs> two hundred. You did that very well. Uh, when the Harlem Glo Globetrotters do their annual dribbling on TV, what sugary-sounding theme song is being whistled? Yes, Reed. Sweet Georgia Brown. That's right. Yeah. Sweet Georgia Brown. That's no problem. Cindy, how are you? Fine. Good. Uh, this is for you. On SCTV, this roly-poly actor played one of the accordion-playing Schmengi brothers, and in movies, he co-starred in Splash. Name this real sweetheart of a guy. Yes. John Candy. You have done it. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> Family Affair is taking a lead. They have 300 rating points. We have 100 over here for the roomies, and we are going to do a, another tune-in question. This time, it is a visual one, so watch your monitors behind me. Adams, Munsters, or Elvira? Look at this picture. Tell me the last name of a uh, yes, Chase. Adams. Yes, this TV yeah. character, it's Dan Haggerty. Yes. Yes. The life and times of Grizzly Adams. Another 50 rating pin, uh, points for you, or pinch. So that's for 50 rating <laughs> whatever, pinch. Whatever, whatever applies. Uh, we are going to be talking about the subject of bearded men. And watch your monitors on this for 50 rating points. Who is this handsome bearded actor? Yes, that would be Reed. Oh, I think that's James Brolin. I think you're right. Yes. Uh, Marcus Welby, MD in hotels. Another 50 added uh, to your score. And uh, Cindy, Chase, this is for you. Look at this picture and name this former, former football player who's now an actor. 
Yes, that would be Chase. Merlin Olson. Merlin Olson yes. is right. There you go. There you go. Got a lot of shows. Cindy, you could bring it up another 50 all the way up to 500. Look at this picture, and on what show would you see this bearded good old boy? Yes. The Dukes of Hazard. Yes, Whoa. that is right. After Denver Pyle. And that brings you up to 500 rating points. Family Fair has the lead. Here's another tune-in question for round number five. Good night, David. Or good night, Dick. Or good night, Gracie. How did NBC News commentator Chet Huntley... Yes, Reed. Good night, David. Always right. say goodbye to his longtime partner. You are right. Good night, David. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great show. Thank you. And uh, they want me to take this off? Do they really? Gosh. Aww. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep Audience, it on. should we keep it on? What do you think? Uh, uh, okay. Keep it on. Just, just for this final round, you're okay. You spit off questions on the subject of commentators. All right, here we go. There you go. What TV commentator always ended his newscast with, and that's the way it is? Yes, Chase. Walter Cronkite. That's the way it is. You are right. Walter Cronkite. 50 ready points added to Family Affair. They have 600. This is for Cindy. This is for Reed. Who did Tom Brokaw replace as regular anchor of the NBC Nightly News? We bring it to 650. Time is up. Can you take it over here, roomies? Who did Tom Brokaw replace? Yes, Chris Aaron. Chet Huntley. Is incorrect. It was John Chancellor. John Chancellor doing the commentaries currently on NBC News. Family Affair Control, back to you. Here's the question. What longtime ABC Washington correspondent wrote a bestseller called Hold On, Mr. President? Yes, Reed. Sam Donaldson. You have done it again, yes. Sam yes. Donaldson. Yes. Brings you up to 650 rating points, and we only have 100 over here for the roomies, but this is the point of the game where we play the couch-up round. We'll come back and do that, see if these ladies can go for day number five, or perhaps Family Affair will be going for the 5,000. Who will it be? We'll find out together right after this. <laughs> Oh, hi. I'm Andy Looney. <laughs> Don't you really hate it when a real keen, exciting expose news program with a real neat ticking watch for a theme song suddenly puts on this boring old guy at the end of the show and all he ever does is complain about how he can't perform the simplest tasks, the simplest everyday stuff, like being able to tie a pair of shoelaces or or maybe even opening a, a simple box of cereal. I mean, what is it with this guy anyway? Wouldn't you like to tell this old fuddy-duddy to just retire or something, maybe send away for some trade school brochures? I know I would. Potatoes. That means it's time to play the couch-up round, where we will be competing head-to-head -head on every question. The value of those questions, they're determined by our randomizer, and that's stock when you hit your buzzer. If you hit the couch-up, the team that's behind can tie the score with a correct answer. And the team with the most points at the end of play will be today's champions. The subject of this couch-up round is double duty. Listen closely. I'll give you an imaginary headline containing two TV shows. And you tell me what actor appeared in both programs. For example, I'll say, McLeod smells gun smoke, and the answer is Dennis Weaver. Okay, listen closely. Read, Roberta. Barnaby Jones investigates the Beverly Hillbillies. For 100 rating points, read. Buddy Ebsen. That is right. 750 now for Family Affair, moving down the couch to Cindy and to Yvonne. Charlie's Angels have a baby boom. For 150 rating points, Cindy. Oh. <laughs> Incorrect. Can you take it, Yvonne? Kate Jackson. You are right. 150 out of your score. Brings you up to 250. Moving down to Chris Aaron and to Chase. Little House on the Prairie strikes a bonanza. For 50 rating points, Chase. And that's Michael Landon. That is right. <laughs> We have 800 rating points now for Family Affair. We have 250 for the roomies. Still lots of time, Roberta. You're up against Reed. Kate and Allie entertain McMillan and wife. For 100 rating points, Reed. Susan St. James. You've done it again. 
Cindy, Evan, Slap Maxwell interviews Buffalo Bill. For 50 rating points, Cindy. Dabney Coleman. You've done it, yeah. yes, 950. That means, Chris Aaron, you have to get the couch up, answer correctly, and then we'll go to a tiebreaker. It has been done several times on the program. Chase, good luck to you as well. The FBI raids 77 Sunset Strip. It's 100, it's not enough. Our new champions, the Family Affairs. Yeah. The FBI raids 77 Sunset Strip. Do you know who it was? It was Ephraim Ephraim. Zimbalist Jr. That is right. You have $1,000 and a chance for $5,000. I have to say goodbye to some fabulous champions. They walk away with $14,250. They call themselves the Rubies. And ladies, unfortunately, today you did not have enough rating points. And you know what that means. Sorry about that. Let's hear it for the Rubies right over here. Great chance. We're going to come back with our new chance to play the Channel Roulette bonus game right after we do this. Hey, we have some special events coming up here on Couch Potatoes. You really ought to check them out. In less than two weeks from now, we will have Teen Week with teen contestants and many of TV's favorite teen stars. Then Mom's Week. And after that, It'll be Game Show Week with some of the top game show personalities of all time. Lots more surprises. Keep watching. <laughs> audience is throwing fruit at us. Okay. Uh... It gives you a good feeling to know the audience is throwing fruit at you. Okay, well, we're going to come back, and this is from Chile. We are back with our champions, and it's time to play the $5,000 Channel Roulette bonus game, and it goes something like this. Behind each of the channel numbers is a picture from a famous television show, and one at a time, you'll call out a number and try to identify the shows as we reveal them. They all have point values ranging from 100 to 1,000, and if you can gain 1,000 points in 30 seconds or less, I'll make you $5,000 richer, okay? Yeah! put some silly thing in there to try and get you to sort of have a problem. But if you hit that, you lose all your points. If there's time, though, you still get a chance to earn those 1,000. And uh, Reed, <laughs> what channel do you want to begin with? Well, let's start with channel two. Channel two, sounds good to me. Your 30 seconds begins when the picture behind the number is revealed. Good luck. Go for 350 rating points. Uh, M M Mary Tyler Moore Show. Right, Cindy. 12. Number 12 for 300 would bring you to 650. Dennis the Menace. You are right, Chase. Number 3. Number 3. Pay TV, lose all your points. Back to Reed. Uh, number 7. Number 7 for 200. Uh, cheers. You're right, Cindy. 6. Number 6 for 500. Pass. Chase. Number 8. Number 8 for 450. Pass. Reed. Uh, number 9. Number 9 for 1,000 in the game. Uh, oh, no. oh, my goodness. Cindy, did you know it? No. Uh, well, you get a dollar for each point, and you, you get $1,200 for the day, which is pretty darn good, actually. Um, the audience was moaning so much. The audience seemed to know everything. Uh, number six was The Mothers-in-Law, which was a great show, uh, actually produced by uh, Desi Arnaz. Good program, actually. Uh, number eight was one called Hop Along Cassidy, a little before your time, Chase. And then number nine for 1,000 in the game, A New Kind of Family was the name of that. Never saw it. Or, never saw it? Never. Well, it makes no difference, because you guys get a chance to come back tomorrow with that $1,200 right. well, in your pocket. Maybe you'll go for another 5000 That's all the time we have on this show. Be sure to join us again as we go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time right here on Couch Potatoes. Bye-bye. Some of our contestants and studio audience will receive Skyway's beautiful luggage evolution combines fabric elegance with hard side strength and greater packing capacity furnished by Skyway luggage. A Hellgross watch for all occasions. Super accurate quartz movement featuring a textured champagne dial and adjustable mesh bracelet furnished by Hellbros. Finally, free hair remover for the most sensitive areas of the face and body. For safe, painless removal of unwanted hair, finally, free hair remover. Slender Mist patented spray appetite suppressant. Natural, fast acting, great tasting Slender Mist is available in America's finest beauty salons.
Would you like to be members of the Couch Potatoes audience? Well, to do that, all you have to do is put your name and address on a postcard. Send that postcard to Couch Potatoes Tickets, P.O. Box 7800, North Hollywood, California, 91608. Tonight at 6, it starts with a fender bender and ends with murder. Thomas is drawn into a deadly game of international terror, and the major forces are playing for keeps on Magnum. But first, Michael goes ringside to keep an aging boxer from entering a fatal fight. Ken Norton guest stars on Knight Rider, next on Channel 5.